Hello, my name is Hunter Paulson. I'm 19 years old. I play college baseball at Reinhardt University. On this podcast series, I'm going to be talking about why I think, in my personal belief, college is a scam in some situations. For this podcast series, I will bring in guests such as students that are going through college currently and professors on what their thoughts were before college and how their thoughts changed after they finished college. Like I said before, this is my first year ever of college and I've experienced many different situations where I do think college is some sort of scam nowadays. For your freshman year of college, they make you choose a major you wanna pick. One of the things that we have to look at when deciding whether or not we want to attend college is the reasons we are considering going down this path in the first place. According to a study mentioned, 44% of undergrads are not able to identify the industry they want to work in once they graduate, or they do not use the degree that they got when they graduated. A big reason that people think college is a scam nowadays is due to the accessibility we have to the internet today. Way back when, when people who wanted a different life had to go to college to learn, as there weren't many other options. This is especially true for the people who came from more rural areas. In today's world, we can essentially look up anything we want with a few strokes at the keyboard. People can access all kinds of information with the internet. Of course, you can possibly learn everything online. Certain careers require actual applied skills that likely require a formal or hands-on classroom environment to learn. But the internet has definitely made all different types of paths and futures accessible to anyone who is willing to self-educate. The number one reason people think college is a scam is the sheer cost of the student loans that students need to take out in order to pay for their tuition. Now, Reinhardt University is a private school and to go here is like $25,000, I believe. If you're on no scholarships, nothing, no financial aid, that is a lot of money. And that's just for one year. After your four years, That's a hundred grand. According to the US News and World Report, the average price for in-state tuition for the 2019 and 2020 school year was $10,116, with public out-of-state tuition costing $22,577. On average, and private colleges costing $36,801, with some costing as much as $50,000. Like I said before, remember these prices are just for one year of school and most students go for four for their undergrad. This means students may have to take out loans for school with very high interest rates and inability to declare bankruptcy on loans themselves. If they have a hard time in the future because of this, most students graduate college already tens of thousands of dollars in debt. And if they do land a job, a lot of their earnings will go towards paying off their student debt. Many people nowadays supporting going to college despite the tuition amount because they believe it's the only path towards a stable and promising career that will set you up for life. Well, today, some of the world's biggest companies like Google, Apple, and Netflix no longer require their employees to have college degree. This is mostly due to the fact that people are able to self-educate the necessary skills while their employer can fill in any gaps with training and mentoring. In addition to this, Many feel that attending a trade school or even opening a business is much more valuable. Surely the money the student is spending on their degree goes to a good cause. No, not exactly. While the faculty needs to be paid and students benefit from clubs, events, and activities on campus, most institutions of higher education are simply in for it, the more profit. More often than not, colleges are just big businesses, and even with many offering scholarships and grants, it's usually the students who end up being taken advantage of while the college continues to deepen its pockets. And if you thought tuition wasn't enough, there's also a cost of books. College Board states that students pay nearly $1,300 a year on average for their books and school supplies in any given year. Although student loans may cover these costs, most students have to pay these sub supplies out of pocket. Once a course is complete, it's likely the book will never be needed anymore and most won't able to be resold and for the same cost they bought them at. What do Michael Dell, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, and Mark Cuban all have in common? They're all college dropouts. What do Richard Branson, Simon Cowell, and Peter Jennings all have in common? They never went to college, but today all kids are told to succeed, you must go to college. Back when my mom went to school, 
price of college was so much lower. Fast forward to 2022, college prices have skyrocketed and kids can't afford this and parents aren't willing to pay. So that means we have to take out loans or if you're an athlete, you have to find scholarships or you can find grants. Like I said, I do play college baseball here at Reinhardt University. I'm a freshman and college is a scam, not just here, but in general. Um, if I didn't play college baseball, I would be going to a trade and make some money, learn good trades in life and make stable money and not waste my time doing pointless schoolwork that's not gonna benefit me in the real world. Like a class that told me how to do my taxes would benefit me, which we don't even learn. To wrap up this first segment of episode one on why college is a scam, thank you for listening and we will be back with some guest speakers for episode two on why they think college is or is not a scam.